गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस्ड ऑन द टॉपिक सेंटरिंग ऑफ द टेक्स्ट इन अवर वेब पेज हाउ वी कैन चेंज द फॉन्ट फेस ऑफ द टेक्स्ट एज वेल एज द फॉन्ट साइज एंड फॉन्ट कलर ऑफ द टेक्स्ट in our web page so these things we had explained and read also in our previous class so before coming to the next topic we will revise it little bit and then start so coming to the textbook centering the text you can emphasize on some important information by centering the text okay so for that we have to use a center tag so the text which you want to align in center before that you have to write center in angular bracket and then close it also because they are a container tag so let's see how you will perform this okay see here some text are written here it is written computer system you can see nothing is written before and after so let's see what is the result in the browser of this the text is not aligning in center so what we have learned is that ki using a center tag with the help of that you can align it in center so let's see center and after that backslash center if you do any changes in your text editor then first save it with control s and then come to your browser and refresh it see the change has been done now it has been aligned to center so this shows that using center tag you can align your text in center i hope it is clear to you all now coming back changing the font of text now you have aligned it in the center so you can change the font also of the text so you can change the appearance of your text using the tags font okay font along with the face attribute means with font we will use face attribute to change the appearance of our text more than one font while changing the font as it comes handy if one font is missing on a user computer the text can be displayed with another font which we had already discussed let's see this works or not so here i am going to use a font face see it's a regular font nothing has been changed now here i am going to use font face font face equals to double inverted comma elephant is a font name okay p h a n t then double inverted comma and till where you want the changes you see if you want the change is only one paragraph then you close your font at the end of the paragraph control s see the changes have been made it has come okay in an elephant font so the appearance of the text is changed now coming on to the next topic
how we can change the size of the text as we have seen that now how we can easily change the font face of the text now can we change the size also you can change the size of the text on your web page just as you can change the font of the text you can even change the size of the individual character also a single character so for this you have to use a size attribute with the font tag one will be the smallest value and seven will be the largest value okay so let's see this also that it gets changed or not so here i want to change the size of my text in regular font the size is this a normal now i am going to change now here instead of face i am writing the size font size in double inverted comma i am writing 5 uh, okay here the font is already closed so save it now let's see see the size is changed now that means for changing the size of the text we have to use a font tag with the size attribute this is the normal font and this is the changed font i hope clear to you all now changing the color of the text can you change the text color yes of course because we are changing the font of the text size of the text so yes we can change the color of the text also so let's see so here it is written body text and the color code for coloring what the whole text the whole document text it will be colored while using the font color so taking this example i am going to change my text color here body is written text equals to double inverted comma if you don't know the color code also if you are not remembering the color code then you can directly write the name of the color okay just now hope i am not remembering the code so i am writing the color red so see it accepts it not see whatever the text written in the document is changed into a red color now i am going to take some codes and check mm, i am taking a what purple hash 8080 okay hash 8080 hash 8080 let's see what happens see the color changed means in both the conditions when you are writing the name of the color then also and you when you are writing the color code then also it changes the text color means the font color okay so now this time you have written the code inside the body tag means you have used a text attribute with the body tag now coming back to the textbook changing the part of text color there we have used text with the body 
so the whatever text written in a document in the web page the whole document text changes to the red now can we change the color of a particular text the change color of part of the text you can specify the color using a hexadecimal value or certain common colors the name of the color means both so to change the text color for a particular text you have to use font color the name of the color or the code and then close so finally check it okay let's check it now here am i am erasing here now i am just instead of size i am using here color c o l o r color yellow yellow on the insert tab comma till here not for the whole paragraph for a particular text okay the insert tab backslash font okay from here i am just removing it control s let's see see the color changed to yellow you can see it on the insert tab okay this and this one is black and this one is yellow okay so you can change the particular text color also now here you want to change your document okay or quick style set command now color this write font color equals to red or again hash 8080 close it backslash font control s see here it hasn't changed so this shows that you can change the color of a particular text also now next topic says that change the background color of the page now you are changing the size of the text font face of the text font color of the text so can you also change the color of the page means the background color of the page so what we have to do see here body bg color is a code for changing the background color we will write bg c o l o r color equals to name of the color red so here body bg color red now control s and then see see the color is changed means the background color is changed of our web page by using body bg color to change the background so remember this body bg color for changing the background of the text clear so very easily we can change it red you can choose any color instead of red yellow okay so now control s and let's see 
it changes or not see it has changed the background color in yellow so by using bg color you can change the background of your web page while using font color you can change the color of your text particular text and if you want to change the color of your whole document the text which you have written then you can write body text equals to the color name or the color code so there is no restriction for writing only code okay here i have written the code and here i have written the name so instead of code you can write the name also and instead of name you can write the code also okay so coming back to the textbook changing the background color of the page you can add colors to the background of the page using the bg color attribute it is a good idea to choose a background color that does not obscure your text so see body bg color yellow which i have shown you so now you can choose any color instead of yellow you can use red or yellow silver gray aqua whatever color you want so here now your chapter is completed so let's see what are the other things you had understood in this chapter once revise them all so you can see here from the starting of the chapter title tags head html tags okay save the name of the file with dot html or dot htm so here you can see title title describes the contents of a web page and the title bar of a web browser window usually displays on the title so remember this thing also body tags it is a container element it is used to display the main contents of the document now next displaying the web page in a web browser so after saving your work with dot htm you can see it in a browser easily paragraph for paragraph you can use a p tag in the text editor new line for new line br tag is used for a new line h1 h2 h3 h4 h6 for the heading there are different heading levels which i had already discussed okay changing the alignment heading you can align it left center or right changing the paragraph alignment you can also change the paragraph it can be the center or right left this is pre formatted text with the pre tag you can do this blank space also you have seen now i have told you that i will show you the practical of this one also the bulleted list okay so i am just showing you here i am writing okay you can see it i am using the ul tag for an ordered list a 
and here li application monitor then again li oranges then next li mask okay here i am closing backslash ul and with this i am going to use once again ol in a bracket li mouse li keyboard then li you can write cpu and then close you ol with the backslash ol okay control s and let's see in our browser see here easily you can see the changes when I used OL it's showing the bulleted list and when I used OL it's showing the numbered list now instead of this can we change the type also so just see here you will type equals to double rounded comma right square okay in ol type equals to double inverted comma capital a control s refresh it no changes have been done why so let's see any mistake see i have provided this space i think so that's why little bit space is decreased now control s and let's see here you can see capital abc and square again you can change it here you can like disk and here you can use roman control s and c see it has changed so easily while you can ul and ol list items you can use a bulleted list also and numbered list also so coming to the textbook this will I shown you law I think it is understandable to you and easily you can use it bold italic underline it is easy just write b tag i tag and underline tag whatever text you want to underline I will show you like this one you can always restore the look of your document to the original content you want to underline this and make bold also so here you use u tag and then close here after the template backslash u control s see it is underlined while using a u tag clear strike subscript superscript and type standard okay this one so i'm writing here subscript okay for sub you have to write s u b s u b okay 
एस यू बी देन फॉर वॉट टेक्स्ट यू वर्ड लाइक आई एम राइटिंग एच टू ओ सो हियर एच देन एस यू बी देन टू एल देन क्लोज एस यू बी एल देन ओ ओके एंड फॉर सुपर स्क्रिप्ट आई राइट ए एस यू पी टू देन बैक स्लैश एस यू पी देन अगेन प्लस बी देन एस यू पी टू देन क्लोज एस यू पी मीन्स ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर कंट्रोल एस रिफ्रेश सी हियर इट इज रिटर्न सी हियर इट इज रिटर्न एच टू ओ ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर आई हैव नॉट गिवेन द लिव लाइन दैट्स वाई इट इज सो इन सिग्नल लाइन सो हियर जस्ट यूज द बी आर टैग बी आर टैग फॉर ब्रेकिंग द लाइन ओके कंट्रोल एस एंड नाउ यू कैन सी इट हेयर एच टू ओ एल ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर क्लियर सो यू कैन यूज सुपर स्क्रिप्ट एंड सब स्क्रिप्ट फॉर राइटिंग इक्वेश फॉर्मूलाज clear centering of the text changing the font of the text and changing the size of the text color of the text these are the color codes these things we had discussed in this videos now coming to the exercise self evaluation i know that chapter means i know that html hypertext markup language is a language used to create web pages okay agreed i fully know that html tag give basic structure to the web pages yes it gives the basic structure to the web pages this is also agreeable i know that html and backslash html are basic html tags which appear at the beginning and end of the text document true I know that header of an HTML document is used to add expressive information to the web pages. Yes, this is also agreeable. I fully know that title tag describes the contents of a web page. I know that body text is a content that appears in a browser window. Okay, browser में जो appear होता है जो body text आपका उसके बाद I know that there are different color codes. In hexadecimal format, yes, assigned to each available available color. These are in hexadecimal formats. So this is also agreeable. Now, next, take the correct answer. The tag that appears at the beginning and end of HTML document is. so you know that in the starting also the html tag is there and in the last also while writing the whole text on the text editor at last we close the html tag so the answer is html tag the ending tag contains this additional sign so in all the tags we have seen backslash okay the tag that describes the contents of a web page is body tag head tag title tag so title tag describes the contents of the web page the text inside the title tag is displayed on the of course on a title bar the title will be displayed the tag used for starting a new line just now we have used 
br tag breaking the line or starting a new line you will use br tag okay now next true false HTML means hyper transmission markup language. Does it mean this? No. The full form of HTML is hyper instead of transmission, there is written text. Hyper text markup language. Okay. So this is what false okay first one is false now second HTML tags are sorry give the basic structure to the web pages yes it's true HTML tags gives the basic structure to our web pages C Header tags are used to give the page title. Is it right that header tags are used to give the page title? There is a heading levels which we are used to giving the so we can use the page title by using header tags. So it's also true. Okay. Next, D. You can use a spreadsheet program to create a web page. No, we are not using a spreadsheet program to create a web page. So it's false. Now, next, Internet Explorer is one of the popular web browsers. Yes. True. To start a new paragraph in a stable document, you press Alter key. Alter key. Is we press the Alter key? No. We are using a P tag. So it's also false. With the P tag, we start a new paragraph. H6 tag defines the largest heading. So there are six level of heading in which H1 is the largest heading not h6 h6 is what smallest heading so this one is false clear all of you the color codes are in hexadecimal format yes true the color codes are in hexadecimal format so we have completed our true false okay MCQ also hope you have got the answers now for the next class this is your homework define the following HTML tags okay and next is your write color code of the following colors and explain the use of the following text this is your homework you have to complete it and then we will be discussing this in the next class and the question answers also okay till then thank you